let's create a new file and uh, we will change the stage color to back black color let us save the file we just need to name it as start drag methods click save to save the file let's choose a rectangle tool to draw a small rectangle and then let's select the rectangle adjust the size width and height and let's change the colors uh, just fill color as in gray stroke is white now we need to convert this rectangle into a symbol click convert to symbol and let's name it as knob mc click ok to convert into a symbol now just double click on the same symbol and convert this into a symbol again and click ok Let us apply instance name to the symbol as knob mc. Let us lock the layer and we need to create a new layer to draw another rectangle. Let's take rectangle tool and we need to draw that one rectangle horizontal. And let's adjust the size width as 320 pixels and adjust the height also. Let us align it to the stage left and uh, vertical middle and we just need to adjust towards that left. Okay. Now just changing the color to white and uh, we just need to change the alpha of the fill color. Now lock the layer oh, before locking the layer that let us try uh, draw another rectangle in the same layer with width of uh, 255 pixels and height is 20 pixels and now let's align left and the vertical middle and now we need to select the inner part of the rectangle and lock the current layer and create a new layer let's cut that and paste it in this place this layer and let's go back to the previous layer select the upper stroke and left stroke and let's change the color to dark so that we see the depth and select the knob Let's create one dynamic text field uh, to display the slider value and just adjust the size and adjust the position. We just need to adjust the alpha of the text field and change the color. Let's change the color to black and alpha 100 let us apply the instance name to this text box as well value txt and we just need to embed the font select the options click ok now let's save the file go back to the main stage let's select the slider object from the library right click on the object properties and click on advanced select export for action script and click on the edit symbol to create a class let's save the class with same name click save and we need to include mouse event class event start mouse event now we need to add events to the knob object knob mc that add event listener
and even must be mouse down and function we need to assign a function and function name must be stat morph let's add an uh, another event to the same object which is supposed to be mouse up and then we need to assign a function to the event mouse up and let's name this function as stop move and we need to define private functions now out of the public function let's define private function and start move even must be mouse event and let's define start drag method to apply draggable function to the object knob mc dot start drag okay let us define another function stop move private function and function name stop stop move and even must be mouse event and object dot stop drag here the object is knob mc Let us save the file and test it now. Go, ba go back to the control menu, click test to see the preview. Now we will be able to move the knob but not in horizontal. We can move in all the directions of the stage. Let us control the direction of the knob movement. To control the movement of the knob, we need to define the boundaries which is possible with a rectangle. Let's define the rectangle now equal to new rectangle and we need four parameters x0, y0, width is 255 and height is 0. Now let's go back to the mouse down event start drag method and first property lock center must be false and second property of start drag is boundaries. Let us define that rectangle name is myrect. Let's save the file, go back to control, click test to check the preview. Now the knob will move only in horizontal, it will not move in vertical, and that will move only for 255 pixels from the starting point. We can see that the knob is moving only for 255 pixels. Now, let's change the object name as stage from mouse up event and save it, test the movie. So that even if you apply mouse up out of the object, it works. And let's define another event now. to update the slider value. Let's apply the another event to the knob. Knob MC. Add event listener. And let's take another mouse event which is supposed to be mouse move. And let's define the function name for this now. Value update. And we must define this value update as a private function, which is supposed to be out of the public function. Private function update value event as mouse event. And let's define the text object name value txt dot text equal to let's assign knob exposition. It must be in string format. Let's apply string method to convert this into string. String of knob.x. 
save the file let's go back to control click test now when we move the cursor then it starts updating that value there earlier it was not showing the default value it was showing only on mouse move on the object and let us copy the statement and let's place it on the public class to show the default value save and test the movie now we could see the default value is in zero which was not shown earlier it was showing for the 255 but i want to show that slider length as in 0 to 100 without changing the size of the slider now we just need to multiply with 100 divided by uh, total width of the slider x into 100 by 255 Let's copy this formula and let us update in the public function even. Let's save the file, test the movie. We could see the value from 0 to 100, but if cursor is moving out of the knob, the value is not getting updated there. But we can see 0 to 100. Let us fix that problem here. If I move my cursor out of the knob, it is not updating the value. Let us update the target object of the mouse move function, which is supposed to be stage. Let us replace that knob MC with stage object. Let's save, test it now. Now we could see that continuous value update, even if that my cursor is out of that my knob. Let's save the file and we need to round the number. It was showing the decimals between 0 to 100. Let us apply the round method for method from math class. Let's save the file. Let us test it now. We see numbers between 0 to 100, only the round numbers, no decimals. And let's go back to the stage now. We just need to move that slider to bottom and let's import one image to the stage. Let's create a new layer, go to file, import, import to stage. Let's select the image, click open. Now we see a beautiful smiley. Let's adjust both the objects, image and the slider. Now select the smiley, align it to the stage, convert that into a symbol and let's select it as movie clip and name it, click OK. To convert to symbol. Now let's go back to the properties panel and let's apply instance name to the symbol smiley. Smiley MC is the instance name of that symbol now. Let's select the slider and then let's apply instance name to the slider object as alpha slider MC. Let's save the file. Now we need to create a base class for this assignment from a property panel. And let's type the class name, start drag methods, click OK. And we need to add the class of events flash.events 
dot mouse event and event let's save the file and now let's go back to the public class and we just need to assign enter frame event to the stage object and let's define a function to this update alpha and we need to define this as a private function private function which is supposed to be out of that public function private function function name update alpha and event must be event and let's update the alpha of the smiley from the slider value object name dot alpha equal to slider name dot knob dot x x by 255 because by default x will give us that value from 0 to 255 but we need that uh, alpha value between 0 to 1 let us divide that with 255 so that we get values between 0 to 1 let us save the file test it now we could see the default alpha value 0 and let's move the slider to check the alpha let's change the default value of the slider just by moving the knob save test the movie earlier the default value is 0 now the default value is different let's check the slider it's working let's go back to the slider object double click and select in the background of the rectangle and convert into a symbol click OK and let's apply instance name to it as BGMC we just want to scale that BGMC according to that knobs position let's go back to the main stage click on the object class Let's set the default width of the BGMC. BGMC dot uh, width equal to. Let's assign x position of the knob. Knob MC dot x. Save. Test the movie. Now we could see that background movie clip size is still only the knob x position. Now let's update the same. Let's take the formula, and then paste the same statement inside that mouse move event let's say save test the movie now we could see that width update of the background movie clip along with the knob mc's position This is how that we can create our custom slider using start drag and stop drag methods. Thank you for watching and have a great day.